Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful sunrise in one of the winter days a few years ago. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Acts 13 verse 46. It says, It was necessary that we first preach the word of God to you Jews. But since you have rejected it and judged yourselves unworthy of eternal life, we will offer it to the Gentiles. Here's my poem. When you reject the word. When you first heard the word of God, did you heed it or did you turn your back? It's essential the word is preached to believers. But when they reject the word, they are rebelling. Once you defy scriptures, you are losing out in life. It is the only way we will be led to God's glorious light. The Word is the only food we have for our spirit. We will be struggling and lost, be lost without it. Here's my essay. There were many years of my life when I didn't know the Word of God. I wasn't raised in a Christ-believing family. And yet the Holy Spirit has taught me that I have a friend in Jesus. No one talked to me about the Lord, but something inside me told me that there is someone who watches over me. I believed and I was faithful to keep my relationship with the Lord even when I really didn't know His Word. When I was in my late 20s, I began to read scriptures. It was amazing what I discovered, yet I didn't really follow what it said. When I finally studied and obeyed it, it transformed me. Prayer. Lord, show me who to share the word with. Reflection. Why do you think people would reject the word of God? One is uh, probably because they have been um, made to believe that uh, this world is a real world and that, uh, that their destiny is in this world. But the Bible says that our life, we are not of this world. We are in the world, but we are not of this world. In other words, um, we are not just uh, physical beings, but in Ephesians 6, it says that we are dealing with spiritual forces around us, with unseen forces. And we have an enemy, uh, the devil. And his uh, main purpose in John 10.10 10 says that he's, he wants to steal, kill, and destroy us. And he wants um, to destroy anything that will lead us to be closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. So one of the reasons why people would reject the Word of God is first because they're ignorant. They do not know the Lord. Or if they know the Lord, that is worse. Because if they know the Lord, they they would be able to understand that the Word of God is God's uh, viewpoint of everything. It's God's plan, it's God's explanation, it's God's guidance so that we will be able to understand our destiny, uh, which is to serve Him here on earth and uh, so that we will be able to be with Him uh, after life and on this earth. So uh, another way that people reject the Word of God is because they had so many painful experiences in their, their lives that um, made them suffer so much and that they do not believe that uh, the Word of God can help them. So I implore you and ask you to pray for those people who reject the Word of God because they do not know the expanse of what they're losing when they do uh, defy the Word of God. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Please continue to pray for my family uh, who are still grieving over my father's death. Um, he was buried um, today, yesterday uh, in the Philippines, which is our uh, the Sunday there, which is our Saturday night, so um, I pray that uh, I get to this uh, moments of crying and weeping and wailing and uh, being angry 
about not being able to go and uh, see him on uh, on his funeral. So I, whoever is watching my relatives, um, I don't have to explain why I'm not there because God knows what it is. But um, it was impossible for me to be there in four days to know that um, he's going to be buried in four within four days with a time difference and the time travel that I'm going to go to the Philippines. But I pray that you give our family peace and understanding and, um, and hope that um, if, 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 if my father is gone, he's not really gone because he has been, he is, I believe that uh, I prayed and I believe that he would have accepted Jesus before he passed on. So I pray that you will be able to help me pray for my whole family and that they will not be able to understand that um, my pain is as much as theirs even if I'm not there actually it's 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 harder to bear but uh, I I live in the grace of God because the grace of God and God's love is giving me peace about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.